Welcome, little scientists. It's Miss Gisa. We've been seeing the life cycle of a plant in our garden by watching seeds grow, and you've been doing this at home as well. Today, we're going to read a story about the plant life cycle called From Seed to Plant, written by Gail Gibbons. Most plants make seeds. A seed contains the beginning of a new plant. Seeds are different shapes, sizes, and colors. All seeds grow into the same kind of plant that made them. So a sunflower seed grows into a sunflower, and an acorn grows into an oak tree. Many plants grow flowers. Flowers are where most seeds begin. A flower is made up of many parts. At the bottom of the pistil are tiny eggs called ovules. In the center of the flower is the pistil. The sticky part at the top of the pistil is the stigma, and the stamens make yellow powder called pollen. The parts of the flower around the pistil are the stamens. And then you can see the stem at the bottom and the petals, the beautiful pink petals at the top. Before a seed can begin to grow, a grain of pollen from the stamen must land on the stigma at the top of the pistil of a flower like itself. This is called pollination. Pollination happens in different ways, often Wind blows pollen from flower to flower. Bees, other insects, and hummingbirds help pollinate too. While they visit flowers for their sweet juice, called nectar, pollen rubs onto their bodies. Then they carry the pollen to another flower where it comes off onto its pistil. If a pollen grain from a flower lands on the pistil of the same kind of flower, it grows a long tube through the pistil into an ovule. This is the beginning of a seed. The seeds grow inside the flower, even as the flower begins to die. As the seeds become bigger, a fruit or pod grows around them. The fruit or pod protects the seed. When the fruit or pod ripens, it breaks open the seeds are ready to become new plants. Some seeds fall to the ground around the base of the plant where they will grow. Some pods or fruits open and the seeds pop out. Sometimes when birds eat berries, they drop the seeds. The other seeds fall into streams, ponds, rivers, or the ocean. There, they travel on the water until they stick to dirt along a shore. The wind scatters seeds. Some seeds have fluff on them that lets them float to the ground like tiny parachutes. Others have wings that spin as they fall. Animals help scatter seeds too. They hide acorns and nuts in the ground. Some seeds have hooks that stick to the fur of animals or people's clothes. Later they drop off into the ground. A flower bed or vegetable garden is beautiful. Seeds are planted to grow in the gardens, just like we have in our garden. The seeds come in small envelopes or boxes. Directions explain how to plant the seeds and care for the plants. The beginning of a plant is curled up inside each seed. Food is stored inside the seed too. The seed has a seed coat on the outside to protect it. A seed will not sprout until certain things happen. First, it must be on or in the soil. Then it needs rain to soak the seed and soften its seed coat. When the sun shines and warms the ground, the seed coat breaks open and the seed begins to grow. This is called germination. A root grows down into the soil. The root takes in water and minerals from the soil for food. Up grows a shoot. Green leaves grow up from the shoot toward the sun. The plant grows bigger and bigger. The leaves make food for the plant from the water and minerals in the soil, the sunlight, and the air all around the plant. 
Finally, the plant is full grown. Buds on the plant open into flowers where new seeds will grow. Many of the foods people eat are seeds, fruits, and pods. They are full of nutrition, vitamins, and minerals, and they are tasty too. Now, would you like to do a project? Let's raise, let's plant some bean seeds. The first step is to find a clean glass jar. Take a piece of black construction paper and roll it out. Next, slide the paper into the jar and fill the jar with water. After that, you're going to take the bean seeds and wedge them between the black paper and the glass and put the jar in a warm place. In a few days, the seeds will begin to sprout. Watch the roots grow down. The shoots will grow up. Put soil into a big clay pot and carefully remove the small plants from the glass jar. Place them in the soil, covering them up to the base of their shoots. Water them and watch them grow. All right, hopefully we're gonna take care of these leaf miner pests um, that have been taken over some of our garden plants like our tomatoes. Um, thank you, Anna, from Our Global Garden. She sent us marigold seeds. So we're gonna plant the seeds and hopefully that'll take care of the leaf miners. We're also gonna plant nasturtium today in one of our garden beds, uh, which also will help keep the leaf miner pests away. Um, marigolds are especially uh, special around this time because um, people from the Mexican culture plant them and uh, use marigolds on the altars for Day of the Dead and in cemeteries. So um, it's a really special plant, especially around this time of the year. to open up. These are really tiny little seeds. Um, they're really interesting. I'll show you what they look like. They're kind of long. Aren't they neat? Alright, so we're gonna plant them in some really nice soil. Guess what color marigolds are? They are kind of a golden yellow, orangish color. So we're gonna plant these in here also, and then we'll we can move these pots in different areas and um, wherever the plants that are getting disturbed by the leaf miners are. These only take about four to seven days to germinate so that means within a week we should have marigold plants which is really quick and exciting there's still a little bit more in here Time to water. Some nice fresh water for our little seeds. All right, we'll check back on these marigolds in about a week. Let's plant some nasturtium in our garden beds. Again, so thankful to Anna from Our Global Garden because I would not have known what to do and she quickly sent me some seeds to take care of our pests. Now these seeds are really interesting. They're a lot different um, than our marigolds. They are round and our marigolds were long and thin um, and they have like these little bumps that really neat. I've never seen seeds quite like that. So we're going to plant a few of these 
these should take about seven to 14 days. So about a week to two weeks to germinate. And um, I'm gonna plant our soil here is nice and moist. It needs dark, it needs the dark to um, germinate. So it'll be good to be underground. And then we'll do a few more. As you can see, our lettuce uh, has taken a big hit from our inchworms. So we'll place, we'll replace the lettuce with some nasturtiums. And the flowers are edible. Nasturtium flowers are edible. So that's always fun to be able to eat lots of different colors. Give it a little bit of water. Let's hope that these help our leaf miners to stay away. See you next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this episode to support our channel.